working to get you answers on a story we've reported on extensively. A woman living off of Grand Palisades Parkway contacted WBTV about safety concerns with the road. And normally roads and HOAs are transferred from the developer to the state or local government to maintain. But developer Lennar never did that here. Lennar is currently working to repair the road, but neighbors say it's leading to other issues. WBTV's Caroline Hicks joins us live from Steel Creek tonight with more on this. Caroline. Well, Grand Palisades Parkway is looking pretty smooth right now, and I'm told that's because the developer Lennar started repaving it a few months ago. But if you take a close look, you can see there are no markings uh, letting you know what lane is what, and that is causing some confusion. It's also why this neighbor contacted WBTV. She says it's a safety hazard that it's been left like this for far too long. From crumbling to smooth, Efforts to repair Grand Palisades Parkway are underway. They dug it up. They put this first coat of blacktop on it, at which point all of the markers on the road disappeared. Georgia Sorensen lives off of the parkway and says it has been without lane markings for months. There's nothing for, for this entire stretch of road. She says it's a safety hazard that led to another car hitting her as they turned onto Highway 49. I got hit by somebody who was alongside of me that I didn't know. I was totally surprised. I wasn't expecting anything. She wants to know how long the project will take. I'm surprised that they've actually gotten away with letting it sit like this for so long. But she does not know how to find that out. I mentioned it to um, the president of our HOA, and he said try the North Carolina Department of Transportation, but I know it's a private road. In past reporting, a spokesperson for Lennar told WBTV, Although the road was built to city standards, Lennar is making certain repairs and improvements to the road at its own significant expense. Sorensen hopes the project wraps up before someone gets hurt. The sooner the better. The sooner the better. Go the other way. Now, I contacted the Lennar for a timeline for this project. I did not get a response as of news time. I also reached out to NCDOT. They told me they were aware of the project, but any further details would need to come from Lennar. Now, neighbors here also say at the very least, if this is going to take a while, they'd like to see them put up some cones to at least let people know uh, the separation between lanes until they're able to paint them permanently. We'll keep you updated on any information that we get from the developer. Reporting live in the Steel Creek area of Charlotte, Caroline Hicks, WBTV.